Hello and welcome to Baby Einstein in July. I'm your host, Thomas Donegan. In case you don't recall, this season is all going to be about the 2004 remakes of Baby Einstein movies. Alright, so we already had our first episode of season two, Baby Einstein's Language Nursery, which went from all right to what were they thinking, because again, it could have been a whole lot better, but then again, you you can't beat the 1998 or the 2002 version, because both of these, I think, are tied for the best versions of Baby Einstein's Language Nursery, while 2004, while 2004 was just a little meh. But, maybe the next remake will be better. So, we're going to look at the 2004 version of Baby Beethoven, Symphony of Fun. See, it says, visual treats and musical masterpieces to stimulate and delight your baby. And here's our friend, Baby Beethoven the Giraffe, with the violin. And, of course, you know the back, it has these short, these pictures of what's in the movie. You know, they've been there since the original 2002 DVD of Baby Beethoven. Yeah, for those who have the Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun 2002 DVD, those, those pictures are still on the back. I think might be a way to kick off the 2003-2004 versions of Baby Einstein. So, Will the Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun 2004 version be a good remake, or will it be like Baby Einstein's Language Nursery? Well, we're about to find out, because that's what it's all about. And Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun is one of my favorite Baby Einstein movies, in case you don't remember. So, let's, let's check this version out of Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun... 2004 version. I'm Thomas Donegan, and this is Baby Einstein in July. Ludwig von Beethoven premiered Nine Great Symphony, Symphony for 23 years. Highlights from some of these symphonies, plus several more, are featured here. So, we got the string fellow, the Teddy String Fellow, you know, that bear playing the violin in the opening. That's still there, with Conjurgat's number 7 playing. The Baby Einstein Company presents... Baby Beethoven and his friends in... Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, and the opening titles just moved a different direction than what they did in the original. Now it moves to the right. And the Teddy Stringfellow still playing the violin. He's not stopping. Of course he's not stopping. It's a toy. Okay, here's Pavlov the dog with peeking through the flowers and watching the bees as we get into Symphony Number no. 1 in C Major, 3rd Movement. Once again, we got the Blur's Light. Uh, by the way, for the opening titles, you know those pictures of Baby Beethoven and his friends, the puppets? Well, they're not there this time. Bummer. Uh, anyway, here are the, the jungle gears. We've got the alligator, the hippopotamus, and the ostrich, and the hamster wheel. I can't think of what else would replace them. I know they wouldn't replace the mindbender blurs with the green and purple lights, and the jungle gears are too good to be replaced. I think the hamster wheel is fine. I guess it doesn't need a replacement. Okay, back to the jungle gears with the lion, and there's the camel, and there's the elephant, 
And here is the rhinoceros. Uh, you know, we haven't seen any changes yet. We haven't seen any toy replacements. But we are early in the movie, so... We'll just have to wait to see if there are any changes. Aside from the transitions and the titles. Wow, look how pretty it is. Okay. Here are the walking owls. And they're all hooting to Ode to Joy. Yeah, that's a fun fact there. They're hooting Ode to Joy. And we're going to hear that very later on in the movie, in case you don't remember. Here's the Amtrak train. Yes, that's what it's really called. A young, a small Amtrak train going through the loop-de-loops, crossing the bridge, and passing by the station as Contra Dance Number 1 plays. Now that song was not on the Baby Beethoven CD. Instead, it was on a Baby Einstein CD called Playdate Fun. It's, it's a Baby Einstein CD that features traditional rhymes and only a few classical music songs. Here's Pavlov the dog with a bone. He hears a duck, he drops his bone, and he's getting away. But here's a picture of, of yellow duck with the ducklings and some dragonflies as we present Symphony Number no. 3. Here's the duck puppet, and he has the bone. We did hear his quack, so it had to be a duck. Now Pavlov is looking for his bone, but he can't find it. We know the duck has it, and I guess oh, somewhere in the music video he notices that the duck has it. It's probably one of the most fun sequences of a Baby Einstein movie. And here's the girl playing the piano. That's good. That's there. Uh, and here are the flash lanterns. Or I think they are flash lanterns. Or maybe they're fiber optic flowers. Oh, and here's the girl playing the saxophone. Fun fact, that's the saxophone that Baby Beethoven plays in one of the best puppet shows in the movie. And here's the round spinner. That's still there. Oh, and here's our replace first replacement. Some sort of bug with a spinner. Don't know what that is, but it replaces the other bug with a spinner that we saw in the original Baby Beethoven. We just saw Pavlov chased by the duck. And here are the balls with a spinner. They're red, yellow, green, and blue. Three are red, two are yellow, two are green, and two are blue. Is that right? I think so. Here's the girl playing the drum. You know, on that drum you'll see a bunch of jungle stuff, leaves and animals. Here's the turtle. Oh, and here are the rings. The yellow ring. There's the blue ring. And here's the red ring. Here is the green ring, and last but not least, or should I say most importantly, the head with the smiley face. Okay, so Symphony No. 3, Fourth Movement, which, what we just heard, was not in a Baby Einstein CD. Instead, it was in a special feature, the Baby Beethoven soundtrack on the original Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun 2002 DVD. We'll see you later, Pavlov. But here's a song we already know is on the Baby Beethoven CD, For Release. Uh, that song was not only on the Baby Beethoven CD, but a whole bunch of Baby Einstein CDs. Uh, Bedtime Classics, Lullaby Classics, Wake Up and Good Night, and Naptime Melodies. That was a blue spinner we just saw, but we'll get to that at the very end. Right now, here's the orange moving light, liquid light. Uh, now, in case you don't remember, Fur Elise is the only Baby Einstein... No, 
the only song in Baby Beethoven to be soothing. Every other song in there is just filled with excitement. So here's the Ooze Tube. We there was something like that in Baby Mozart Music Festival, but it was but it was in different colors. And here's the Rainbow Spinner. That was one of the pictures on the back of the Baby Beethoven CD, along with the girl playing the piano. And there's one more coming up. Can you guess what it is? Well, maybe you already know, so you don't have to take a wild guess. Glad they, they didn't replace anything in this music video, in this segment, the Fur Elise segment. Here's the oil drop, and that's still there. It's coming out of the spout and filling up. It's getting faster and faster and faster and faster. Very fast. Can you think of any other... Anything else that would replace these? Of course not. They're just so... Cool to look at. So, Baby Einstein made a safe decision not to replace them. Well done, Baby Einstein. Now back to the blue spinner. Kind of looks sort of different. You know, it looks like it's moving in fast motion and then stopping, and it looks lighter in color, a more lightish blue. Okay. Here's Webster the spider, spinning around and round, and get off it goes. Oh, here's the baby McDonald the cow, eating grass, wearing three cowbells instead of one. The sun is rising, welcoming you to Wellington's victory. Here's Baby McDonald the cow and Baby Beethoven the giraffe. There's Pavlov the dog, Baby Newton the lion, the yellow duck, one of my favorite Baby Einstein characters, and here's the horse. You just called the horse. That song that's playing, which is England from Wellington's victory, was in the Playtime Music Box CD. And there's another one that's also from Playtime Music Box that's coming up. So, let's move on as Horse marches to catch up with his friends, and we go back to Teddy Stringfellow. He's playing... or he's playing his violin to... France. And that song is also on Playdate Fun, Except, it, it shortened. Why would Baby Einstein do that? I have no clue. Baby Einstein has been doing that a lot with their songs, making different versions of songs, and sometimes they do it be to differentiate itself from another CD or something. Anyway, here are the dogs, with the dog with the blue raincoat, and the dog with the yellow raincoat, and the dog with the red raincoat, you know, swaying their umbrellas and singing in the rain. Here's Teddy String Stringfellow, the dog in the yellow raincoat, and the pig. Glad they didn't replace them, because how else are, is this segment going to be? One of the best visuals ever in Baby Einstein history. And here is the music. Here's the one with babies, uh, while God Saves the King plays. And that song was also not on a Baby Einstein CD. Not even one! If only Baby Einstein released all their songs on CD, you know, then we can listen to those songs over and over and over and over again! <sighs> Just looking at those babies makes me wish I had a children of my own. That's the thought I had in the future. And here's the other song from Playtime Music Box. It's the... Victory Parade. On Playtime Music Box, it just labels it as Victory Finale. And Victory Finale was the only song in the Baby Beethoven soundtrack to not be in the Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun movie. I wonder why that is. Oh well. Uh, here are the penguins climbing up the stairs, just like the Barnyard Friends from Baby on Sign Language Nursery, and the Playful Circus Seal Race and Baby Mozart Music Festival. And here's the Bubble Bee. I say that because I see stripes and wings. 
don't know what that is. Maybe it's a mosquito or something? Or maybe a beetle? Yeah, it could be a beetle. It's a possibility. And here's the bee again. And back to the playful penguin race. Climbing up the stairs, sliding down the slide, passing by the red, yellow, and green flags, through the tunnel, and back up again. Here's the boy riding his horse, and here's the frog. That song definitely deserves applause. I would agree, it's one of my favorites in Baby Beethoven. And here's the saxophone from Baby Bach, which is also what Baby Beethoven's going to play. And that is the snapshot that's all... And that is the third and final s picture on the back of the 2004 DVD. Boy, Baby Beethoven, the, the giraffe sure does need practice. Maybe he should just stick with the violin instead of the saxophone. After all, the violin is his favorite instrument. At least I say it is. Oh, and here's another replacement. Instead of a wagon with building blocks, we get bears in construction outfits. See, and we never see them go back in or get popped up. Instead, we just see them one by one in stop motion. I prefer the building blocks. They're way better. But at least they still have the walking dragon. It's very funny looking. And I love the way it walks when Contra Dance number 9 plays. That song was in the Baby Noah CD. And same with Contra Dance number 7. I've never had the Baby Noah CD yet. But maybe I will sometime. Anyway, here's Baby Newt and the Lion in the Jungle welcoming us to Symphony Number no. 5. We heard the first bit of it in the very beginning. Now we get to hear the whole version of it. Let's see, they still have the zebra in the cone coming out. Boy. The peekaboo crab. They still have that. Of course they should have that. You know, it goes... It's everywhere in this segment. It, it jumps up and down and moving around and playing peekaboo. Here are the jungle gears that we saw before from the Symphony No. 1 segment. They're still there, we all know that. There's another Baby Einstein... I think there's another Baby Einstein toy like that in another, other Baby Einstein movies. Or there's more than one. But I think we'll find out in this season, I can guarantee you that. Wow, look at the crab go. Uh, did I tell you that some of the songs in Baby Beethoven's Symphony of Fun were also on the, some on the Baby Beethoven CD and some weren't? Well, that's because, originally, Baby Beethoven's Symphony of Fun was going to be released in 2000, but Julie Clark wanted to do something a little more different than Baby Mozart and Baby Bach. She wanted to do something more educational, something that kids can enjoy. And thus Baby Shakespeare was born, and Baby Beethoven didn't come out until 2002. Here's Baby Newt's and the Lion. We just saw him in the picture. He spies the dog in a box, and comes the dog. I still would have preferred Pavlov in that puppet show because... He is a dog. And here are some real dogs for Symphony No. 5, Fourth Movement. And that song also was not on the Baby Beethoven CD. It was not released on any CD. <sighs> if only Baby Einstein made more CDs, then they would include some songs they never included on their CDs. Here's the Ferris wheel. I just missed the caterpillar because I was pointing out a fact about Baby Einstein. Here's the spinning star. It's pretty. And here are the men on no swings wearing red, blue, green, and purple jackets. They still have no faces, but still a fun visual. Here's the clown, and, and it's girls laughing when it comes out, and two boys on the seesaw. Seesaw is on wheels, and it's going back and forth, back and forth. Glad they still have that. Of 
course, they still have the footage with the children. They... No, not going to say anything else about that. But it does deserve applause. I think the first movement deserves applause. They still have the ball race with the red and yellow ball. I still say the yellow ball wins because it hit the bell first. And they still have the... Uh, outer space kinetic. Yeah, they still have that. It's very pretty. And there was something like that in Baby Bop, except it was just the cosmos kinetic. This is more brighter and more different. And once again, we're back to the triple ooze tube, which we saw in the fur lease segment. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh boy, sorry about that. But here's the liquid motion. I think that's what it's called. Maybe it's called it something else since the first season of Baby Einstein in July. But anyway, here's the spiral timer oil drop. Oil, you'll notice the oil gets bigger and bigger as it goes down the tube or down the ramp. And here's the sailboard wave machine. Sort of reminds me of that... Uh, Orca wave machine that we saw in Baby Van Gogh World of Colors during the blue segment. Oh, and the wave in the wave machine here is blue. How about didn't mention that? And here's a picture of Baby Beethoven the giraffe playing the violin in the savannah. You'll notice that the violin in the picture is brown, but on the DVD cover it's more blue. And we're into symphony number six. Uh, oh, and here's the bunny walking down the ramp and eating a carrot. There's the solar power Ferris wheel. Glad they still have that. Because it's very, very big. And it's... I, I know, it's a lot different than the Ferris wheel and Baby Bach. You know, that was something else. This is more kinetic and more... Wow. It's bigger than one of Baby Bach. Here are the kids playing the xylophone. Like they were playing a song. Here's a space wave, which looks like a rainbow. It sort of reminds me of the... Space Wave and Baby Mozart that we saw. <clears throat> Did I forget to mention that Baby Beethoven reminds me of Baby Bach and Baby Mozart combined because of the visuals? I mentioned that in the first season, but I'm mentioning it again. Alright, so here's a Savannah Mobile with a zebra, the elephant, the lion, and a giraffe. Sort of reminds me of something from another Baby Einstein movie, which I will not cover in this season, but maybe in the next season. Hopefully. Okay, so here's the animal fair wheel. You see? Lion, rabbit, penguin, rabbit, pig, rabbit. You, uh, the, peng the lion, the rabbit, and the pig were in Baby Shakespeare, but the penguin wasn't. I also like the pattern that it was in. Rabbit, not a rabbit, not a rabbit, not a rabbit. Glad that's still there. There's the bear shaking the maracas. And here's baby Beethoven dancing to his favorite song. Wait, or one of his favorite songs. His Probably his favorite song is coming up in just a minute. Here's the girl playing the xylophone that we saw from before. And they still have the magnetic hide-and-seek doors. Very good. So, in the refrigerator, there is food. What else? In the door, there's a cat. Okay, some cats do live in houses. And here's a cow in a barn. Of course, all cows live in barns. Here's the flowers through the window. And a dog house is... What else? A dog. Inside that big red door is a knight in shining armor tell because you heard the trumpets. And here's a car in the garage door. Where else would cars be? Oh, a bird in a bird cage. Of course, that goes without saying. And in the mailbox, a present. Sure, why not? 
because sometimes mailboxes have gifts. All right, so Contra Dance number eight, that's another song that it's in Playdate Fun. And, but only on Playdate Fun has a more extended version, unlike France, which is shortened. So I like to call this a king, but if you like to call it a queen, I'm okay with that too. So here's the rolling turtle that we saw in Symphony Number no. 3. Only he has his family now. See, there's the small ones rolling to the left and then the right. And that one turtle just stops. Okay, now it's time for the best song, or should I say my favorite song in Baby Beethoven's Symphony of Fun. You know what that is. It's Ode to Joy from Symphony Number no. 9. And right now that sheep is looking up at the stars. On the, and behind the sheep there are some flowers that are also shaped like stars. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Some of the... Oh, all of the pictures you see are based on illustrations from Baby Einstein books. Uh, see and Spy Shapes, See and Spy Counting, and uh, Jane's Animal Expedition, to name a few. <clears throat> the girl's playing with a block stuffed in a cube, and here's the <clears throat> animal carousel, or should I say animals in a savanna mobile, from the Symphony Number no. 6 segment. And here's Baby Beethoven the giraffe. <clears throat> He's playing with a girl who has a Baby McDonald cow puppet. See, Baby Beethoven's giving her a kiss. And here's the clown in a cone. And next to that cone is a boy in red clothes. They still have those. I don't think they make cone puppets anymore. Here's Baby Beethoven with another girl, and she has a Pavlov the dog puppet. I wonder what Baby Beethoven's whispering to her. I guess we'll never know. Alright, they still have that, the dancing person. And there's the clown that we saw in the Symphony No. 5 fourth movement segment. A boy is playing with that. And here's the dragon that we saw in the Contra Dance No. 9 segment. Girls playing with that. And these two girls that we saw from other previous segments, they're playing with the ball race that we saw in between Symphony No. 5 fourth movement and the Sonatina in F major segment. Here's the boy pretending he's playing the piano. And here's the son wearing sunglasses. And here's the girl putting on a baby Newton, the lion puppet. Guess he's gonna do a puppet show later? Maybe. And here's the silver ball spinner. They still have that. Really glad they still have that. And this boy is playing Whack-A-Shape with the mallet. There he is with the same girl that he was playing with the xylophone with. There's the Mind Better Blurs from the Symphony No. 1 segment, and the baby Beethoven and the girl he just had the Pavlov puppet, they're playing with a jungle drum. It's alright, I still think baby Beethoven is good with the violin, because, again, I... It's what he has on the front cover, and it's what he plays most of the time. Here's Baby Webster the Spider in confetti. And now we're cut to the end credits. As the final movement of Symphony No. 9 plays. The end credits, as you can see, are the same as the original. You know, they're just in different fonts kind of the same font that we saw in Baby Einstein's Language Nursery. Or should I say exactly the same font, because they're just different. Now, we might not see that in all Baby Einstein movies. There are some where or they're just a little close to the original. And 
Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun was the first Baby Einstein movie to feature the toy companies at the end credits. Bet you didn't know that. Of course they would have that. And, as I said before, character scenes from books, Baby Einstein books, and here are the baby photos courtesy of Getty Images. Getty Images has a lot of Baby Einstein photos online. They're just so hard to find, but what can you say? Here's the Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun title, and that is the original Baby Beethoven CD. I wonder why they had that and not the uh, Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun 2003 CD. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Very, very perfect. Well, at least a little close to perfect, but it's still worth the watch. Thank you very much. Well, Baby Einstein fans, that was the Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun 2004 version. And you know what? It's actually good. Pretty good. I wouldn't say it's as good as the original, but I'd say it's one of those 2004 remakes that's actually quite passable. You know, because there weren't that many changes as there were in Baby Einstein's Language Nursery, but there are some Baby Einstein... No, no, I mean, there are s some things I would have changed, like still keep the blocks in the wagon, and uh, maybe a few more mobiles, or maybe a few more kinetic art toys. You know, some a little more understandable. Uh, one thing I would like, you know, if there was a change that I think that I would think would be a little more better, it might sound crazy to you, Baby Einstein fans, but how about uh, spinning ball in a, a spinning ball kinetic in one of the kinetic art music videos in Baby Beethoven. Yeah, well that's just me. You might disagree with that, but it's my opinion. But they still keep a lot of visuals. You know, they still keep the puppet shows, of course. They still keep the jungle gears. They still keep the ooze tubes, the playful penguin race, the the saxophone that Baby Beethoven plays, and they still keep the some of the animals, they still keep the doors, they still keep the stacking rings, they still keep the rolling turtles, they still keep the spinning rainbow wheel. You know, a lot of stuff they like. So, recommend this. Alright, so now it's questions and answers time. Today's question comes from a very good Baby Einstein fan and one I always praise, I praise his work to, uh, Chase Ace 5127 2.0. He asked me this, who is your favorite Baby Einstein character? It's a very good question, Chase Ace 5127 2.0. If you're referring to characters who appear on music covers, I would say Baby Bach the Rabbit, Baby Mozart the Bear, and Baby Beethoven the Giraffe. You know, who's with me right now. Uh, they all like making music together, and they're, they're in the most... They're in one of the most iconic Baby Einstein illustrations ever. They do appear in some Baby Einstein books as well, and a few puppet shows. Well, maybe not many puppet shows, uh, but I think Baby Beethoven appears in a lot of puppet shows out of the three. But, if you're referring to puppets, I would say Bard the Dragon, of course, because, you know, he has that most famous scene in Baby Mozart. He's the host of Baby Shakespeare, and sometimes he makes me laugh a lot. Yeah, but I also like Vincent Van Gogh. Pavlov the dog, and the yellow duck puppet. A lot of Baby Einstein characters I'm like. I'm just naming a few. So hard to choose top ten. But might do a top twenty list sometime. Alright, so I guess that's it for now. 
Hope you all enjoy the 2004 version of Baby Beethoven Symphony of Fun. Oh, and I also forgot to mention this. Don't forget to leave your thoughts on the Baby Einstein movie I just focused on. You know, what did you think of it? You know, which version do you think is better? The 2004 version or the original version from 1998 to 2002? All right, I'll see you in the next episode. I'm Thomas Donegan, and this is Baby Einstein in July. Oh, wait, wrong line. I'm getting a little mixed up right now. All right, this is Thomas Donegan saying bye for now.